right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, we got some news for y'all today. We got some leaks. Some the, 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 the shot meter has been leaked in the most detail that it can possibly be leaked in. Uh, we got, you know, we got the Intel 2K leaks and Intel asking some of the tough questions. And then we got a description, and we're going to go over that right there, man. So if you don't do anything else, man, make sure y'all like the video, because every time you like the video, you help us get closer to that also oh coveted 100k and without further ado let's get the video underway now right off the bat man you got nba 2k leaks and intel he's just asking which version of nba 2k 23 are you getting now when he's asking that i don't know if he's saying current gen next gen or if he's just talking about the michael jordan edition versus the uh, championship edition i'll be getting the championship edition just because i like nba 2k league pass so with that being free in there i'm going to get it because i like watching the nba a lot of people could use that to to advance their knowledge of the game but we know that most people that play 2k they play 2k as a video game they don't know anything about basketball they don't care anything about real basketball they play it because it's a game and it's a game that you can easily be good at because you don't have to learn how to shoot you don't have to learn how to aim you don't have to do a lot of the stuff that you got to do with call of duty you don't have to learn situations or any of that you can just jump on 2k and and buy boost and then you're going to hit hella whites and stuff like that because that's just how the game is or what have you. So that's where we are, man. So uh, that's why a lot of people play the game. They play the game like a video game. They don't care about basketball. They don't know anything about real basketball. And I can't begrudge anybody for that because when I play Call of Duty, I don't know anything about SEAL Team 6 or or any of the uh, you know real maneuvers or any of stuff like that. So it is what it is. Uh, play it like a video game and all that. But if somebody was out there running tactics, I don't know if I could beat them. Hey, it is what it is, man, but check it out. So, uh, main alt says, we need to move on to next gen. Current gen is the problem and needs to be bad so everyone can move on. Now, that's tough right now, man. I don't know if I don't know if that's exactly the answer. I feel like they could be possibly part of the thing because they could probably make a better game and support the game better because we know they have another development team working on, working on the... Uh, current gen right so if they had that team exclusively working on next gen to, to bolster that staff and help them with more support then i mean I, I guess it could be a little bit better but uh we've had that we had that one time before and uh you know we saw how that turned out in 2013 and 14 15 you know when we had next gen versus current gen last time so it wasn't anything today but then they didn't have the staff then so you know who knows, man? But let me know what y'all are getting down in the comment section, man. Now, um, the, the one guy says, uh, Flynn says, what if you don't have the money for next gen? Well, that's a pretty simple answer. You just don't get it. You just gonna be stuck. It's just like 2013 when they came up with the next version of the game and some people weren't able, I mean, it's gonna be the same thing, bro. I can't get a 500 bins, bro. I, they, but they still gonna make them. You can't, you can't, you can't hold back progress because of the masses. But at the same time, if that is now, but at the same time, if that's a major part of your, um, what would you call it? Of your fan base or, or, the, or the major part of your revenue, they're gonna cater to them. And so they're gonna cater to That's I can just tell you straight up, they're gonna be making two games for a little bit while, a little while longer, just until everybody gets on. It's just a different case than it was in 2013. But at the same time, that's the answer to that question. Like, what if you don't have money? You go to McDonald's, you don't got the money to get a Big Mac, and you gotta get a McDouble. Like, you're gonna be stuck on the McDouble, and it's just gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It might be a lesser or whatever, which is probably bad, because McDonald's food is trash. That's a bad, that's a bad, uh, bad comparison. But you know, it is what it is. That's not the point. The point is, like I said, I'm a gamer parent, so I would get my kid everything. But if I were not a gamer parent, I would be like, you stuck on that. Uh, you're going to be stuck on that that uh, current gen, and that's where it is. And, you know, so that's why people going to say which one is the best. It really doesn't matter. I don't care which one is the best. Only thing I care about is we want to have a good game. So, you know, it is what it is. Up next. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. It hasn't been long enough where everybody should have next gen. I feel like it is. But at the same time... I was able to get my next gen console like three of them right off the right off the jump so uh you know it, it i'm in a different situation i understand that, that i'm in a different financial situation than a lot of other people so i can and plus i'm a content creator if i want a content creator i probably wouldn't care either though so it's it's tough i'm not in a different financial situation because i'm a content creator i'm just in a different financial situation because 
of the job that I have. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, we have the description. This is NBA 2K Leaks and Intel. This is the description from Best Buy. And they say the next evolution in ultra real gameplay has arrived on New Gen. They call it New Gen. I'm still calling it next gen. Mama call it Clay, I'm gonna call it Clay. Uh with the NBA with NBA 2K23. Uh, new ways to attack off the ball, I mean, attack off the dribble and at the rim are matched against an intuitive one-on-one -on -one positional shading system to unlock even more control in the most authentic basketball experience uh, ever. And, uh, you know, they say stuff like that every year. As a matter of fact, we got to, actually, they probably don't because I got the uh, description right here from uh, last year. And this is from Best Buy also. It just says, play now. Play now is real NBA. Uh, play now in real NBA and WNBA environments against authentic teams, players. Build your own dream team in um in my I'm my team with today's uh, stars and yesterday's legends. And then it says live out your own pro journey in uh in my my career and experience your personal rise to the NBA. Flex your management skills. And um, as a powerful executive, you know, GM, whatever, whatever, whatever. So it doesn't say anything about that stuff on here, man. So um, maybe they do got something this time. Maybe it is one of those things where it's gonna be a little bit better. I don't know what they're trying to say about the positional shading. Like, am, am I, am I, is it positional shading? Like if I'm in this spot, you can't come to this spot? Or if it's saying positional shading, like if you're over there, I can attack this way and you're not gonna be able to get back and stuff like that. It's just like, it's so ambiguous. It's not, it's not very clear what they're talking about. But what is clear is what we got right here, man. Hey, check it out, man. I'm, I'm gonna blow it up on the big screen, but this is uh, what NBA 2K Leaks and Intel says, the clearest picture we have of the new meter yet. And so, we're gonna blow it up, man. Y'all can see the new shot meter. And it's uh this is more like the what was this? The, the 2K17 and 18 shot meter or what have you. Where it's uh and yeah, 2K17 and 18, where you had this right here. Oh, was 17 under the feet. I can't remember, bro. I, I can't remember. I know we used to do the wink and the gun and so I know night, I don't want to say 18. I know 18 was like this. I want to say 19, and then in 20 you had the option to do it. But I want to say that uh, 17 was was under your feet or whatever. So uh, it just is what it is. So, uh, but this 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 is where it is. I don't know if this is the whole green zone or that's just what turns green. Obviously, he hit a green from right here. But uh, I guess what's important is you know like I don't if you get it in there is that green. That's a huge green zone, right? A lot. But then again, he is two feet away from the basket, so who really knows? All I can tell you is that is the most we got. That's the clearest picture we got right there. And uh, I mean, it is what it is. I don't think anybody really cares about a shot meter. I don't think anybody really, I don't think nobody cares, man. I think the shot meter's cool, it's all right, but we're not gonna be satisfied until we get gameplay. And I don't understand, I don't know how we could get better gameplay. Do you think we're gonna get better gameplay if we have those two crews dedicated to the next gen? And that's gonna give us the, the most the most realistic gameplay and support or do you feel like like where we at right now it, it just is what it is and they just need to continue to support both games and have both games because like i said man if if what it's been two years already that they supported both games if they support the other games two more years the actual cycle of a of a console is supposed to be five years they stretch it they're stretching it to seven now but i mean if they do it two more years we gonna have 2K, it's gonna be current gen damn near the whole time. And then what's gonna happen is that, are they gonna slide over to the, like when we get the new systems, I guess in three or four more years when we get the new systems, are they gonna just, is that company just gonna, that uh, group just gonna stay with them or, or or what? I don't know, man, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be one of those things where where I, I just, I, I couldn't possibly tell you, man. I, I don't know. I don't know where they are going with it. I feel like if we dedicated more resources to it, then it would be, it would be, like it might be a better game but it might not because in the in the past it, it it didn't make a difference back then either man so i don't know man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man do you think that if they split the gens and and concentrate more on next gen than current it will be a better game but some people prefer current over next and it could just be because that's what they know but i i don't know i don't really know what to tell you man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section though man uh do y'all think it would be better if they concentrated on next gen exclusively and then and just kind of leave current gen to its own devices or do you think it would be better just leave it how it is and we keep pushing and supporting both gens because next gen does have 
it, it has a better feel and better movement and better change of direction and then that's where the stuff starts running thin because on net on current you can play better paint defense you got better events and stuff like that so i don't know man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man and i'm gonna tell you next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.